have you been wanting to get a little bit more organized with your transaction checklist and have some really smart dates going on with the transaction? I'm Garrett Stewart with Command Console and your referral partner for Reno Sparks, Carson City, and Northern Nevada. And I'm really excited to show you Command's newest feature, which is smart due dates and opportunities. Now, what does smart due dates mean? Well, it's going to uh, utilize your uh, opportunity checklists and ta task checklists to be able to give you automated dates depending on when things are happening along the transaction. So if you're not super familiar with opportunity checklist tasks, uh, definitely be sure to go to answers.kw.com. I'll link this, this specific one in the description box below. But uh, in here, this is gonna tell you how to create and, and do some stuff here. What's really cool as well is it does give you a template uh, in here as well. Uh, to start creating and get going on an opportunity checklist with some samples. So definitely check that out uh, to get going there. But for those that are familiar with it and want to get going, um, or you're just wanting to learn, this is what you're going to do uh, to get going to have an opportunity checklist. So when you're in, in an opportunity and you scroll down, you've probably seen these key dates before. Now, these key dates are... Um, are really cool and they've been great for being able to create things such as a transaction summary where you have that all in there if you want a little printout handout and put the uh, tasks on there all of those details about the transaction you can put it in the file uh, if you like the hard copy uh, that's been a great feature uh, that you can already do just with that generate transaction summary now what you're going to be able to do is these dates are now going to play into the transaction opportunity uh, checklist uh, items on there. So uh, if you have your opportunity tasks already created, you should see this in your opportunities of, you know, um, with some items in there. So let's just click in there and you can see I already have my listing checklist in here and uh, we have different ones in here. Well, I've already started playing with some and you can see, you know, uh, different due dates next when things are due. So let's go ahead and create a uh, checklist item for confirmed dates with the seller. Maybe we're about to close. We have the clear to close coming up and we want to make sure that all the dates with the seller are still accurate, that when they're going to be out, when they have everything getting transferred over, et cetera. So maybe we want to confirm these dates, maybe a few days before closing, let's just say five days out. Well, what we would do is we'll click over here on this three date three dots and hit edit. And from there, we're gonna scroll down and we see that due date and we see no due date. Well, now you're gonna see new options on there. Uh, we can choose on a smart due date, before and after a smart due date, uh, before we just had a calendar date or no due date. Uh, so now we can actually hit before and after smart uh, due date and actually choose a timeline. So maybe we wanted to do, like I said, five days before closing. Well, right there, we could choose that five. And what's really cool too is it's not just days, we could choose weekdays, uh, weeks or months. So that way we can actually start to create a uh, accurate time frame uh, of any key dates on a transaction. Uh, we can hit uh, select opportunity uh, key date there and we can scroll down and we have uh, towards the bottom here, whoops, uh, closed date right here. So I'll click close date and we've got that and we'll have five days before we'll hit and we could make any additional changes if you want to choose a sign or priority or anything like that. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now uh, you can see that that popped up here and now it says this is happening in the next seven days. Uh, so we are able to start planning out from there. So this is a super cool feature that's automatically gonna start creating due dates for you. Uh, so they pop up in the opportunity tasks that are due for either you or whoever, if it's your director of operations or admin or VA or whoever, those are gonna automatically start popping up so you don't miss those key dates. Uh, so this was doing it within a specific transaction. So I did that one in here. Next time we have a transaction for a listing, that wouldn't pop up. I edited that specifically in this transaction. So let's go in and do it for the template. So anytime I have a listing transaction, that pops up. So how do you edit these? 
Well, same way you made your opportunity task checklist. Um, let's just go under, we're under, under contract and listings here, and we're going to go ahead and hit stages and checklists. And you can see uh, right here, here's that clear to close. I can hit that three dots and you can see that, yep, sure enough, that item did not go into here because we were only editing that specific transaction. This is the template for everything here. So to edit that, we would just go ahead and hit that three dots there, hit edit, scroll down and choose that due date there. We'll say before or after smart due date and we'll just stick with that five days before and we'll scroll down here and we'll choose close date there. We'll hit save and now that will be for every transaction going forward. If we wanted to add additional tasks, it looks exactly the same. We'd enter in all that information and have all the smart dudes. So um, if you want it to fall on that specific due date, uh, maybe it's something on closing date, or maybe before or after. Maybe it's the day earnest money is due uh, for that earnest money deposit. Uh, we want to confirm that it gets there, or uh, and we want to confirm different things around there. So ours here in Nevada is two days after the acceptance of the offer. So, and that's two business days. So I would pick, uh, in that circumstance, I would actually pick uh, weekdays on here. And so I would pick, you know, two days before um, or two days after accepted offer. Uh, so you can really utilize this to best tailor how you want to um, work this to make sure everything's working properly. But this is starting to become a really great way to manage your transactions uh, in command and make sure every client has a consistent and exceptional experience working with you as their Keller Williams agent. So uh, if you do want a sample, like I said, they did have that sample one in here with some examples. If you did want a copy of what I'm using in my business for my listings, feel free to reach out to me. If you haven't checked out my website, commandconsult.com, be sure to do that. You just go to that more tab and hit contact over here. And there is a way to send me a message right there. Or you can just shoot me a message at GarrettStewart at kw.com. And I'd be happy to help you there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I am your referral partner here for Northern Nevada, which is Reno, Sparks, and Carson City and all around here. So I appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.